This is... This is Jonathan. Jonathan, how you doing? Hey, John. How you doing, man? Hi. Hey. What's up? Yeah, so I, I have a few... I have a few questions for you. <clears throat> the first one would be, um, do you think that anarcho-syndicalism could be a stepping stone toward uh, anarcho-primitivism? Because, you know, the the typical argument is that you would have to decommission industry, you know, take control of industry, decommission it, you know, and then people would have to stop having children and so on. So do you think that that could be a possible scenario where... I think that's that worth be a discussing. Stone? I, I've talked to syndicalists there in Spain, and, and we really, uh, we had a lot in common, and, and there was a lot of listening on both sides. And I have heard that argument. I've heard it uh, made here in Eugene, in fact, uh, that that's the only path. You have to pass through that uh, stage, if you will. I, I think there's something to that. I, I don't know. I think it's definitely worth... Uh, I think the question, though, is where does the primitivism come in, or how does it come in? How uh, it really hasn't yet been a part of the syndicalist outlook, but I, I'm not. You know, it could be, and and you know, I think as you imply, it already is on the part of some people. So uh, we don't know how things are going to best uh, transpire or or more fruitfully transpire. So. You know, I think that's something of an open question. You, do you feel like it's uh, it's uh, something that should be pursued? Yeah, I mean, I I see it as sort of the only possibility because um, I guess a sort of a gradualist approach where people become more aware of um, of their own problems and you know, and sort of like you see another um, goal. Um, but anyway, I have mm -hmm. another question, maybe. Sure. And ask you about that. Uh, you have an essay um, that's called um, it's about art. I uh, forget what the name of it is. The uh, case against art. You talk about uh, creation, right? It's, it's yes, uh, the case against art. Uh, very thought provoking. Uh, but you say that uh, talk about creation in order to subdue the torment of perception, right? And and so I would like to ask you, like, what types of creation do you think don't have that uh, purpose? Don't have um, don't have that like torment, which, you mean, or don't don't have that yeah, motivation? Like type, well, I yeah, mean, like which types of creation do you think don't have the purpose of uh, subduing? I mean, subduing the torment of perception. Well, first of all, well, you know, I'm a writer, yeah. so so I do that. I mean, I'm not condemning people who do art any more than I am uh, condemning people who write. That was a deliberately provocative title, as you may have. Seen, I mean, it may, it may be obvious, but uh, I think all of, I think perhaps, and this is speculation, it's certainly speculation, but if representation itself is a substitute or a compensation or a way of consoling ourselves, which we didn't uh, need for, for two million years, then, you know, in a way, all of it is, and, and we're substituting something else that's allowed, that's, that's permitted, but... Uh, you know, it doesn't really, it, possibly anyway, it's, you could say it doesn't really uh, make up for what was left behind when we turn to re-presenting the world instead of directly uh, perceiving it. I mean, that's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of a crude right. way to but, put it, but something like that. I guess my guess would be that we would have to draw the line that certain kinds of creation maybe are more alienating than others. Do you think sure. that would be the case? I, I think so, sure. Differ and there are different styles yeah. and different methods, you know, to try to do the same thing. That's why we have some uh, methods, you know. I mean, we're all trying in different ways to, to proceed to do something, even even if we do say they're alienated methods. Well, that's what we have. I mean, this, this techno uh, transmission certainly included. You know, the whole, we're all part of this whole thing. Anyway, and, and one last quick question, if you don't mind. Um, it's kind of a, a more personal question. It's, uh, did your use of psychedelics contribute to your primitivist perspective? <laughs> I never thought of that. I don't know. I, the, way, the only way I looked at that was uh, it was just a time when, when you felt like doing something like that, when you felt like really opening up to a world that seemed to be changing. And so it really felt good to be even more open 
by whatever it was LST or something like that and um, but uh, yeah I, I don't know I, I sort of doubt it did I, I'd sort of it was it was quite a bit later than I that I started uh, what I feel is more interesting uh, focus on things so but I bet that could be helpful <laughs> I don't know do you think that's uh, something useful there uh, yeah I'm here I'm listening um, okay. I don't know uh, it's a good question I'm not putting it down no. that's that's all I'm trying to say I guess yeah well thanks for calling well thank you for your answer thank you for your answer sure John. take care have a good one you too